There is enough for everyone, so why are some still poor? Who is it that's it? <laughs> there is enough for everyone, so why are some still poor? Who is it that these assemblymen are really working for? Not you. Of that you can be damn sure. The golden rule in a society of fools is that the gold owners make the rules. In this land of Oz, is it still called a nation of laws when the Congress works for crime bosses? Here's a civics lesson. A fat cat digs his grubby little paws in his deep, deep pockets, bribes a congressperson, gets his bill on the docket, and sits back and watches as his stock price skyrockets. It's that simple, really. You were nowhere in that equation. They might not actively hate you, they just don't even factor you in. The system ain't built for humanistic purposes. It's just an extraction machine. Seriously, that's really, really all it is. They can launder their blood money with PR statements and advertising, but that definitely doesn't actually make it clean. What you don't know can hurt you, but the Emperor is standing nakedly, and all the kids are saying it too. When will we make a break between our glorious future and tragic past, what today is just routine? The people of tomorrow will blast as savagely and lavishly obscene. Social evolution ain't easy, it doesn't happen automatically, but if we approach it diplomatically, openly and undogmatically, we can transcend these prejudiced divisions. Dogmatic hatred is an unintelligent prison. It serves only to keep us all oppressed. Are you still afraid to take the acid test? Get outside your co comfort zone. Don't ignore the muffled moans of your kindred who are in distress. Be kind to strangers and the dispossessed. Poor folks deserve better than payday loans. Their pain should shake us all to our bones. They should have their grievances addressed. It's a true scandal from east to west. In every city across the country, millions are going hungry. Encampments are forming under bridges. Perhaps it wasn't their decisions. Maybe it was the vicious system that does nothing but enriches those who need it least of all. It's ugly. Some folks just have way too much money. Maybe someday we'll realize the market is not our ally, and all of this is structural. Our ills are not just cultural. We can design a better world if we wish to, and leave all of this behind. Don't be like the sheepish who let their neighbors be ghettoized. It's time to officially recognize that poverty is technically obsolete, but the commons has been privatized. Wall Street owns Main Street. Undo that damage and decommercialize the fundamental necessities of life, without which no person can survive. It's time to finally find out what lies beyond the horizon of, ima of imagination they wanted us to have for this nation. Beyond the toxic cash fixation, we need radical excessive wealth taxation. And yes, expropriation of the resources being wasted on the whims of a corporation with no incentive to heal the community's utter des desolation. <laughs> Poverty is inherently violent, and it's time to put an end to it. It's a daunting project, yes I know, but that just means we must begin. The future is approaching. Comprehend it. Recommend it. Represent it. It's up to all of us to mend it. There is enough for everyone, so why are some still poor? Who is it that these assemblymen are really working for?